Compact Creations. So that uh, video I did last week kind of gave me the bug again to do another Compact Creations. I realize it's been a while. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Number 11, Black Box. Let's go. All right, this is it. Let's, um, let's, oh, by the way, this is a battery pack called Omar's, or uh, that's what I'm guessing, Omar's I got on Amazon. Uh, I really like it. It's cool. USB-C, two USB ports, lasts really long. I haven't found a point where this died yet. Um, and yeah, it's awesome. I have a link for it down below. Of course, it's an affiliate link. Helps support the channel if you use it. Um, so if you're looking for a new battery pack, feel free to go through that link. And I appreciate it very much. All right, let's do this. I got a couple samples on here that came with the black box because it comes with a bunch of stuff from Loop Masters. And then I've also thrown on some cords and whatnot that I've slowly collected over time. Um, first and foremost, let's make sure this is set to two bars, 32. You got the quantized size here. Um, I think this goes more for when you're changing the patterns, not so much the actual quantization, because I don't think you can actually turn the quantization off, but what you can do is change the step length, which kind of makes you, uh, allows you to record on either the 16th or the 32 little, like, bars between the thing. And this goes up pretty high to 64, so it's practically getting pretty close. I wish it went to 96, uh, like, parts per quarter note, but that's all right. I'll leave it to 16th for now. Got a kick, snare. Bunch of sounds, a couple chords. I'll figure something out with these. So uh, I guess let's start with this. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do the the kick and the uh, snare first. Not sure if you can hear that compressor on there. That compressor comes in kind of crazy. But honestly, I kind of like it. This is without it. Jesus. Anyway, I like it on there, so let's do this. So check this out. I got my hi-hat here, but I also got a velocity. So that's kind of cool. So I can say... Cool. Simple. So I'll go to this sequence here. Uh, let's just go ahead, edit, copy, go back to our pads, or I'm sorry, sequences. Come here, edit, paste. So this is kind of tricky. Check this out. If you go here, see how these all now have a little white square? They're all playing, right? So the way to change patterns, you have to make sure you turn the other one off, which gets a little weird because then you're now selected, you've now selected that one. So the trick I find is if I'm playing this one and then I want to go to that one, I have to turn this one off and then turn that one on. So you can see it jumped over. Basically what we're going to do here, find some chords. That one kind of works. Let's see what else we got. How chill are we trying to get? Oh, that one's set to like some weird clipping mode. We'll just do sample mode. How does this one sound tuned down? Eh, I'll ignore that one. All right, I like this one. So check this, I can just go here. Oh, let's set that to um, poly mono. That was beautiful though, right? Oh my god. Pads. We can filter them now. God damn. Dude. Dude. Hmm. Okay. Oof. Damn, look, I'm getting like goosebumps. Do you can you see this? This is like God damn. Alright, copy this. Getting carried away. 
we'll go here and I'll paste that. And I guess I'll add the baseline here, right? So that's enabled. Pads. <clears throat> I love this, by the way. I can jump octaves or I can just change by semitone. So I know I'm not gonna go higher. Oh yeah. So I didn't like that note. So what's tight is, go here, you go to pads, key mode, Say, uh, let's go to the pads. Da -da. Da -da -da. What pad was that? That was 12. So sequence. You can zoom in. Da -da -da. Oh, it was 9. Okay, cool. I just added a no onto 9. Sequence, copy. I wish I could uh, copy it from this section here, like copy, paste, copy, paste. Be kind of cool. Edit, paste. And this is another thing I'm sure, so I just updated this one to the latest update. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but um, I haven't found it yet. But if I want to take out the kick drums, I just got to go into the pattern and then I can zoom in and see where the kicks are and just take them out one by one. So I'm building the, um, the next pattern right now, basically. I just know that the kicks are on the very bottom row. Uh, take that one out, this one, that one. Come on. Da -da. Maybe it'd be nice with a stylus or something to really fine tune this. Oh, right, so see, this is the weird thing. Now there's two sequences playing. I just took out the kick drum, but I think it's still there because it's still playing, but I gotta go and hit that one again. Now you can see that we're only focusing on this one, not that one. So this part, it's a little weird, but once you get used to it, it kind of makes sense because you can start doing some weird polyrhythm stuff. So like if I went here, there's nothing here. Let's find a sound that I can put here. So, uh, all right, I don't want a DJ scratch sound. We'll do sample. Um, let's see, back, back. Loop masters, load, one shots. Let's find some. Keys. No. Synths? Just give me a single cycle wave shape. Let's try some bass. This might work. Alright, so I like that part. Uh, play it. You can see that the start point's kind of changed. Yeah, there we go. So I like that, and let's pitch it. 24, two octaves. Sustain down, decay up. All right, well, that worked. Kind of tight. So watch this. I can go into here. I'm pretty sure I can. Let's kind of set this up all weird, right? That is, it's nine steps. Oh, but watch. It kind of waits. Is that what this is? There it is. So that's the quantized size. I think I was. I think I'm correct in saying that? 
basically this is how long it'll wait until it re-triggers the thing. So what I mean by this is I can then just go and like enable that and leave this one playing. So you start doing these weird cool things. And this also does MIDI out. This is actually kind of sick right here. Go to my pads. You can kind of see what's all going on. What's also tight is you got a high pass to the right. sequences and we'll play the one without the kick and check this out there's a vinyl simulation and that'll just keep looping I'll just leave it at this. You can then start going into your sections and song modes and that'll start, you can select what patterns play when and where and how long and whatnot. Effects mix, presets, basically a preset, <laughs> appropriately named Slapper. That's exactly what I think of this. Uh, I'm gonna save it there. Um, but yeah, that's really it. I mean, this thing is tight as hell. Let's, uh, let's end it on this thing. All right, that's kind of cool. Well, cool, anyway. Yo, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this thing is super tight. Yeah, I'll catch you next time. You know the drill. Share the love. Share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace.